If anyone tries to cut Social Security, Medicare, or raise retirement age again, I will stop them. <laughs> Work working people built this country. They pay more into Social Security than millionaires and billionaires do. It's not fair. He would not require it for all Americans. I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand it be mandatory, but I would do everything in my power. Just like I don't think masks have to be made mandatory nationwide. He must increase vaccinations among the unvaccinated with new vaccination requirements. I wouldn't demand it be mandatory. With nearly 80 million eligible Americans who have not gotten vaccinated, Many said they were waiting for approval from the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Within weeks of the Biden administration's proposed vaccine booster shot rollout, the Food and Drug Administration's two highest vaccine research officials are stepping down. Reports say it's because they felt pressure from the White House to approve the booster shots before they say the science was ready. Well, last month, the FDA granted that approval. So the time for waiting is over. This is not about freedom or personal choice. It's about protecting yourself. We can verify, no, the vaccine will not prevent you from getting COVID. That is false. And those around you, the people you work with. A fully vaccinated person could spread COVID-19 to an unvaccinated person. The people you care about, the people you love. That choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in, we'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who Gobbled horse goo, rest in peace, Wheezy. I think they're very selfish and unaware and ignorant and they're only thinking about themselves. You heard what on whose podcast? Is he a doctor? No. Scientist? No. Can he name one of the ingredients in the vaccine? Can he point to his gabella? Then tell him to shut the up. They don't care if it affects other people. That's the thing. Time for to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us stay. Many of us are frustrated with the nearly 80 million Americans who are still not vaccinated. Just get the vaccine. Roll the up and get the vaccine. Even though the vaccine is safe, effective, and free. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. So tonight, I'm announcing that the Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated. I don't think it should be mandatory. I, I wouldn't demand it be mandatory. Or show a negative test at least once a week no longer with any option for weekly testing instead. Well, the vaccines provide strong protection for the vaccinated. Sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in young athletes. We read about and hear about and we see the stories of hospitalized people, people on their deathbeds, among the unvaccinated over the past few weeks. And the need for COVID wards drops. One of the COVID units, and it is dark completely closed. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. From the CDC today, a new report out just this week says vaccines, get this, were less effective than natural immunity against the Delta variant. For a field hospital that has never been used, not once. I feel it's like a waste of money. It has never been used. And what you may not know is the beds are still here. With a huge price tag, the cost to keep the beds here and lease the space is $60,000 a day. That's roughly $1.8 a month for empty beds. You're quite right. We have to be good stewards of the taxpayer money. The only sound here comes from the wind. The unvaccinated overcrowd our hospitals, are overrunning emergency rooms and intensive care units. A strange side effect from the pandemic, Bay Area emergency rooms are nearly deserted. This summer, we made progress through the combination of vaccine requirements and incentives. Do you say free fries when you get vaccinated? But there's also a, a burger element to this. Let me, let me check with Bill. Mmm. Vaccination. Mmm. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see?
Play-by-play -play announcer for the Atlanta Hawks basketball team slumps in his chair, then starts convulsing while his co-anchor keeps going, unaware of the emergency. Alyssa, this really is the calm before the storm. Not again! <laughs> Yeah, so you're saying we need to only activate mandatory vaccinations as soon as it will be vital? Won't it be much too late then? Oh. <laughs> We've made vaccinations free, safe, convenient. The vaccine is FDA approval. Over 200 million Americans have gotten at least one shot. Hmm. that one of the great reasons to go out and get vaccinated is bring the city back full reopening. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that.